Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to install School Bell plus how to hack it to basically bypass activation on it. So you're going to want to go to your main browser, in my case it's Mozilla Firefox. You're going to want to click that open. And I just type in, and I'll try to zoom in so you can see. I type in school well software which it's right here I don't know if you can see that now it's the second result here call ktims.com that's where I get my application from so I'm gonna want to click on that link which I'll put it in the description to make your life a little easier and here it is. That's what the website looks like. You're going to want to click on download. And you're going to want to download school bell trial version dot zip. It's a zip file. So we're going to want to download that. And you're going to want to click it right here. Click save file or if you're using Google Chrome it will automatically download. So you're going to want to click OK and save your file on the computer and now we're going to want to go to Windows Explorer which is the folders down there so I'll click that open and go to downloads because that's where it will save it now let me try to make make this bigger so this is what it comes in a zip you're going to want to extract all if you have WinWar, it'll be different, but it's kind of the same concept, so you're going to want to extract it. I'm going to extract it to downloads, the same exact folder where the zip is at. And it'll take its time. Uh, Depending on your computer, it might extract right away or it'll kind of take its time. This is not my main, not my primary computer. It's actually down there. This is a different computer. So here's the actual application. But before installing this, you're going to have to do some modifications to your computer. So close your internet browser out because it will not work until you set the time, date and time to you know present right now. You do need to change your date and time for the activation. As you can see, that's my, that's the current time and date today. This is present. You're going to want to go to your control panel. Go to control panel. And you're going to want to click on clock language and region. Might be a little different in Windows 10. You're going to want to go to set date and time under the date and time tab now this is where you have to do this to make the hogram work so now you're going to want to change your date and time click that now I'm going to go to 2027 you could go beyond 2027 you could go to 2040 if you wanted to it's up to you but I'm going to 2027 I'm going to click that and I'm going to change the month a little bit too. I'll change it to May 14th of May. May 14th of 2027. And there you go. Date has changed. You are all set to install the application now. So just click OK. Minimize this window because you're going to need it for later. So let's minimize this because we're going to have to change it back to present. Now we could install this. Okay, and this window may pop up. Click yes. Now if you have Windows 10 for the date and time, there's a little there's an option that will set the date and time automatically. You're gonna want to turn it off as well. That's the one thing I forgot to tell you. For date and time here, 
there's going to be a little option to set date automatically. You're going to want to flip that option off, otherwise it'll change it back to present and that will work. So, for this, I usually just click install school bell only. I don't need a client. So click next. And install. And there you go. There's the actual application itself. Now the license, you don't have to worry about the license until, you know, obviously the year that you set passes. So now, we gotta close the program now. And I'll show you what I mean by the... So let me open this again. There's nothing popping up yet, but like I said, I'm gonna set it a few days after just to show you why, how this works. So it's the 14th of May, so I'm going to put it like at the 12th, maybe the 11th of June of 2027. And now we're going to open this and see how this works. This is how this application works. So I jumped maybe about 20 something days after I installed it and see how it says two days left. That's how you're tricking the application. There's no need to worry about it. So now we're going to go back to our present time. So we're going to go back to 2017. It's July the 20th. And that's it. We are back to present time. Sorry if I didn't show that, but... It's present time now. So, you can close out of this window, you can open this, and there you go. You can keep on using it until that year passes. Now, here's the basics of it. Here's a timetable right here. Here's your times that are set. These are default settings here. So you got standard. And this will tell you here. Now, this is set to six minutes until the bell goes off. So this is the t this is the time when the bell rings, and this is telling you when the bell is going to ring again, like when it's set to ring at, and this is the previous bell that rang, and then this is the actual time right now. So set to two forty five. You could also set schedules if you want to go off on Saturday, you can Sunday, any day, or if you want to uncheck a certain day like Wednesday. Just do that. Now we can scroll down. The window may act all jumpy sometimes, so here you go. I'm just going to do school out. This is the time right here. So now I'm going to set it here. Now, if you don't want to do, if you have a system that where you don't want to deal with like five minutes for the bell ring, you can actually set the time automatically. Like 2.41. Oops, I actually clicked the caps. Two forty one. And we want to set this to PM. 2 PM. There you go. All you do is you click that and you can change it all you want. Now click OK. And there you go. And we could go back up. So 15 seconds here. That's how you set it. 2.41 p.m. And I'll take you to one of my intercom speakers here. So there you go. 
that's the actual tones that this program comes with, but you could put your own in, which I'll show you in another part of the video. So I hope this helped you guys out that is curious about how I do my, how I set my bell tones on my system. This is the program I use, and this is that, plus the hack. So you don't have to worry about buying a license. It's really not a hack, it's just common sense. So stay tuned for the next part, which will be how I create my bell tones.